Chow, Shin Ni An Hao, and Happy New Year. This is Money Flippin' Matt Richards, welcoming you to the feast from the East, the Chinese New Year. I know many of us had a, a nice New Year's blowout a month and a half ago, but we're not the only game on this globe. And since China's been celebrating New Year's for well over 4,000 of them, I'd say they're the experts on how to do it. And we're gonna see how well you know their version of the holiday tonight. As 12 questions on the festivities strain your brain. Uh, they gonna strain your brain. Mm. <laughs> Woo. But it wouldn't be a Chinese New Year celebration without some modest cash gifts. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm going back to tonight. We've got a big red. I deliberately highlighted it because I'm not gonna remember the. Uh... I'm not gonna remember. <laughs> You have to be... hundred of them. We'll, we'll do the VIP mode, okay? Something just flew in my eye. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Woo! All the winning ticket holders in VIP split $1,500. But you gotta act... Because ticket sales stop at $150. Click it and get your ticket. Yeah! And of course, when you think of Chinese culture, you think of the Apollo Theater. Well, maybe not, but they were last night's charity, and we love them so much we made it a two-nighter. So we can tell you more about how they're surviving the pandemic. The education arm of the Apollo has stayed active while the stage is dark, hosting online education programs like the recent Five Days with Step Africa, so that the love of music and culture can be taught even as in-person performances are on full. All of this in addition to their ongoing digital stage events, including an upcoming women's festival, a teen summit, an Apollo comedy retrospective show, and multiple education career panels, all taking place in the coming weeks. So we're saluting and making a donation to the Apollo Theater. Here's Billy with another message. Take it away. Hello, HQ fam. My name is Billy, Mr. Apollo Mitchell, and I am the historian and tour director at the world-famous Apollo Theater located in Harlem, New York. The Apollo is a cultural treasure and vibrant nonprofit organization. Our theater is perhaps most well-known for introducing the Amateur Night the Apollo Talent Competition in 1934. As the soul of American culture, performing on our historic stage has become the gold standard for artists around the world. So I wish you the best of luck, family, and we hope to see you live and in person at the world-famous Apollo Theater real soon. Thank you so much, Billy. Woo! And as always, we remind you that you can go and help them out by donating or shopping their store at apollotheater.org. Yeah, there it is. It's right there. Look them up and hook them up. All right, real quick, let me remind you that Sunday is Valentine's Day. And we'll be asking about romantic movies. Ooh. Where did I go? I promise. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Ooh. Valentine's Day. I wrote you every day for a year. Did you wrote me? Yes, Roman. Can you feel it? Monday is going to be a special President's Day game. Here's a graphic. Look at those guys. They're all presidents. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm very excited about this. On Tuesday, our special contest winning co host will be eager to meet you. Don't miss it. Take a look at this trivia with Emily Chen. She's gonna be here. Woo! Emily, Emily, Emily. You don't want to miss it, y'all. Oh, yeah. Now, the evening has settled on Yondan. First night of the new year. I think it's time to set off these fireworks. It's believed what happens on the first day of the year sets the tone for the rest of it. So let's head into this with a winning attitude. If you're celebrating traditionally, you're probably gathered with your whole family. Raspberries, sweet raspberries. Nothing to it, but to HQ it with question number one. Q1! The calculation of the Chinese New Year is tied to what celestial body? Sun, Mars, or Moon? What's it gonna be? Ask any Chinese astronomer you know. 
or all the ones you know. The holiday has many other names, including the Lunar New Year. The festivities always start during a new moon. 37,941 know how it's done, son. Let's go. Q2. Mm, mm, mm. The moon was the answer that we were looking for. Question number two. What kind of animal is the focus this year in Chinese astrology? Bovine, serpentine, or mythical? All righty. We've said goodbye to the year of the rat. Get out of here, Takashi. From here forward, it's all about a brand new year. The year of the very bovine ox. Hard work and honesty are a couple of things it symbolizes. That was such a cute cow. Oh, the baby. Don't show Reggie. He's hungry. 35,826 if you got it right. Reggie, no! Don't you touch the ox! Yeah. All right, cute. This to the length of the entire New Year's festival. One week, two weeks, or full month. Come on, get with it. China does not celebrate small, and the biggest bash of the year is right now, when the year starts. So they pull the stops out and spend a solid 15 to 16 days ringing in the new. Two weeks and a little extra. Basically, two Hanukkahs. 29,940 players got that one right. Two weeks. Woo! That's a celebration right there. Come on now. Q4, knocking on your door. What is the mythological origin of the color red figuring into New Year festivities? Ambition, protection, or worship? Time is up. Days. I used to erase around that. It's not a. And red have protected them from the Nyan ever since. 18,069 players got that right. You can't argue with the results, right? The one year they stopped doing it, Nyan gonna come back. That's problematic. Question number five. For the children. When in the festival are paper lanterns traditionally carried by celebrants? First night, midpoint, or final night? Huh? I was gonna go with... All right, you can fit a lot of celebration into 16 days. And the lantern festival is a beautiful nighttime affair with hanging lanterns, carried lanterns, floating lanterns, and more. All to end the festival for its final night. It is definitely something to see. 18,501 players got that one right at Q5. Good job. The final night is when things get lit. The lanterns. Okay, question number six. And it goes a little something like this. The coming year will be what sort of ox? Metal, water, or wood? Okay, there's more than animals to Chinese astrology. On a 60-year cycle, the Wuxing moves us between yin and yang and through five different elements. This year is not just the ox, it's yin and metal. Uh, 17,270 got it right. Yang water tiger cannot come soon enough. Am I right? The yang water tiger. All right, question number seven. <laughs> I've been practicing. Yeah. Southeast Asia has always pulled influences from China, including celebratory ones. And you can spot the similarities between China's New Year and Vietnam's Tet celebrations. Fireworks is just one big giveaway. 15,810 of you got it right. Woo! The Tet celebrations! Tet Nguyen Don! All right, question number eight. I hope you're feeling great. I know I am. I'm on day two of my juice cleanse. Oh! Drinking. I look juicy. I feel juicy. Asaf, thank you. Asaf was like, you look juicy. 
Yeah, that's why I'm doing the cleanse. I'm trying to look less juicy. All right, question. Not. I think I've seen a lot of you. I just know it's not pretty well known, but there's also a lion dance. They should add the crane because it symbolizes so many good things. See, there goes a the dragon. That's a lion. No crane. Put the crane in there, y'all. It's 15,395 of you got it right. You did your study and you knew a thing or two or eight. Let's see how much more you know. We got four more questions until the jackpot. Who's ready to get this cash money? Q9. What are added to the Chinese calendar to account for leap years, days, weeks, or months? All right, now. No year is exactly 365 days, and every culture has to adjust so it doesn't snow in August. And the Chinese system uses shorter months and adds a 13th one every most years, I could use an extra month. I'm so glad that 2020 didn't have an extra month, because that would have been awful. 13,232 knew what to do. Three more questions stand between you and your share of $5,000. Let's go the distance, shall we? Q10, my friends. Time to get it in. Traditionally, what birthday occurs first during the festival? Jade Emperor, God of Stone, or Millet? I'm seeing C and chat. Asking for what? Ow, ow. Ow, ow. I don't know what that means. Let me know in the chat what that means. I think that was. Ow, ow. Yeah. Hmm. Well, well, let me tell you what the, the answer is. <laughs> It looks like we got it wrong. Eight. Oh, yeah. 8,196 players got that right. I don't even know what you get, Millet. You can't. Then it's a work day. Okay, I gotta get the next two right. Question number nine. Oh, 11. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you almost caught me slipping. Q1D1. All dogs go to heaven. What is most likely to be eaten at a traditional breakfast on the first day of the new year? Beef, eggplant, or porridge? This is definitely a question 11. Because question 9 was several questions ago. Reggie is not... What? Reggie goes to heaven? What are you guys trying to say? Reggie's going to live longer than all of us with his strict vegetable-based diet. Okay, Whew. watch that menu carefully. Porridge is bad luck on New Year's Day, and in hopes of a long and happy life, it's also considered bad luck to eat any meat. Huh? Just like Reggie. Tear into that eggplant, babies! 9,595 of you got it right. Now, if somebody sends you an eggplant emoji on the first day of the Chinese New Year, they're not being freaky. They're just hungry. I'm not going to try that tonight because I don't want to get slapped. 9,595 of you are moving on to the final question of the game. <laughs> Woo! Don't start throwing eggplant emojis in the chat. All right. Q12. Here we go. Which city has the oldest Chinese New Year parade in the U.S.? Chicago, New York, or San Francisco? All right, Chinese immigrants and their children have contributed to the tapestry of American culture for a long time. In fact, it was as far back as 1851 that the first New Year parade went walking up Market Street to Chinatown in San Francisco. That's what I thought. Yeah. I thought about it. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Silence. 
was a good game, yes, good game. You came very close, that last question got me. Huh? I mean, I was already out for a long time. But... Did yours freeze? Mm -hmm. Mine's frozen. Look at this. 